Okay, you're going to just walk you through Inkscape and initial setup of your file. You're going to want to go ahead and import your satellite overlay. This is going to take a little bit of time um, to import. Now, uh, one of the things we'll want to do is set up the dimensions of our page, and we want that to be in millimeters. Uh, that's going to allow us a um, import into Blender, and then when we run a scale routine in Blender, it's going to sort of just essentially translate um, one millimeter uh, to one meter. And so now once we've imported this, we're going to set up our document uh, properties here. So file document properties, and you're going to want to change this to your terrain size. So my terrain size here is you're going to want to change pixels to millimeters first, because you'll see that'll change the number in there. And then you're going to enter uh, whatever your terrain size is. And mine's 1700 by 1700 here. And then you're going to close that. And then you're going to select uh, your satellite. And you can't see the document, but the document has changed. It's much smaller here behind this. But you're going to go ahead and change uh, the units on your... Um, so pick this black arrow and pick your satellite. And then change the units here to millimeters. And then just change this 1700 tab over, 1700. And now if yours doesn't auto line up, the X and the Y just needs to be changed to 0, 0, and now you're all set. You can change this view to zoom and just choose your drawing. It'll zoom in, and then uh, we're just going to go to the first hole and get you started.